All right, just wanted to just do a, a quick video on some atlas farming I've been doing the last few days, which was centered around Hayward Hamlet farming and kind of just testing how much currency I could make off of different methods there. So right away, I'm just going to pull up my uh, notes here. The two things I was focusing on was I did a set of maps with Essence and Harvest nodes. Well, both were with the Essence plus Harvest Atlas nodes. The first set was doing Essence on Xana, and the second set was doing Harvest. So you can see real quick, uh, the Essence maps, 50 maps, about 2600 Chaos, which came out to 53 Chaos a map, or about 500 Chaos an hour. And this one was, it was pretty quick. You probably don't even need the harvest nodes, but I just had them set up to begin with. You're probably better off if you're going to target for essences going for something like Ritual or uh, Betrayal as your other nodes. But most of the the currency from that was from bulk sales of the essences, obviously, after uh, finishing all the maps, which some people might prefer that, to uh, doing lots of sales while you're mapping. The second set was I kept the essence nodes. Still had the harvest nodes and did harvest on Xana. This one's a, a considerably smaller map run total, but that's because the maps took a lot longer, which is mostly, I think, due to a lot of trading in addition to the maps just taking a bit longer. But it was also considerably more profitable with 4,000 chaos profit in only a little bit longer of time, but it came out to 156 chaos on maps, so like over an exalt on a soft core ultimatum, which is where I did all this um, per map or about 700 chaos an hour. And both of these numbers, the 500 chaos an hour and the 700 could definitely be pushed higher if uh, I was trying to, you know, min max my efficiency a bit more. I'd imagine even without switching out harvest on the essence farming, just mapping quicker. Uh, you probably get this one up to close to 700 chaos an hour maybe and the harvest you could probably get close to a thousand chaos an hour if you uh are being more efficient about mapping being more efficient about buying and selling because the one thing about the harvest farming is there was a good bit of if i craft an item a base into an item i sell it right away buy the new base so there's a lot of sales and trading while mapping and the more you can pre-stock up on the more you could cut down on that type of uh, time. But also for the harvest farming, I did not include any of the harvest crafts that I got that would have potentially been sellable. I got two reforged keep suffixes, I got one random augment, and I got a whole bunch of lucky divine crafts. I only kept seven because my bench can only hold ten total. So it had all of these in it. But I probably got closer to... Uh, at least 10, maybe even close to 15 Lucky Divines, which I'm assuming should be sellable, at least if you have a big bulk of them. But either way, as you can see, the harvest was very profitable. So let me get into uh, now exactly what we were doing for that. So for both sets, I ran the same stones, which were some harvest stones that I bought. I have two mature stones, which give extra chance to grow higher tier plant. I don't know if that actually stacks, like if two of them was doing something. If they do stack, there's a decent chance you would want to run four of these. If not, obviously you only want to run one. And then I had one tier one chance to contain T4 plant and one T2 chance to contain T4 plant. The overall cost of these stones is it should be somewhere between like 300 to 400 chaos total. So it's not too bad, but there is a little bit of initial investment there. And then for all the maps I was running, I was using a, I was throwing simple sextants onto all my maps, on my stones, just for some extra mobs and stuff. But these ones are really cheap, and it's just a little bit of extra mobs, which is nice. Uh, the essence stuff's pretty self-explanatory. I mean, the big bulk of it's putting essence on your device, and uh, just getting lots and lots of essences, and then selling bulk like shrieking essences, potentially deafening essences after the fact. While I was doing the essence farming, I did have the harvest stuff set up. Although I think I only ended up crafting one item 
in terms of like actual like rares which are mostly just cluster jewels i think i only got one i found uh i believe seven harvests in the 50 maps there so most of the profit was from the essences and just the normal mapping stuff however for the harvest where I put harvest on every map, we made quite a bit off all of this crafting, and it's might not be what a lot of people think was making the currency because even then, the the rares, the jewels being crafted and whatnot, probably accounted for one third at best, maybe like a quarter of the total profit that came specifically from harvest. Most of the profit from harvest came from things like swapping breach stones for other breach stones so i had a whole bunch of esh stones that i bought like five or six ahead of time if they hit ulnatol or chayula i sell them essences swapping essences actually able to buy lots of essence of delirium and insanity and you can actually shuffle them with harvest and hit horror and hysteria which for example like if i hit a nine stack of delirium essences into hysteria Every one of those nine essences was about 15 chaos gained. So that's 150 or 135 chaos to hit that switch, and those are a pretty common harvest craft. And then things like shuffling fossils, as well as uh, turning bestiary items into lures, turning harbinger items into beachheads, because infused beachhead is worth, I believe, just shy of two exalts. And then the occasional Blister Lord to shuffle influences did pretty well for us. And the gem crafts. If you can get a 40% uh, Faceter's Lens or a 50% Faceter's Lens craft, you can use them on a level 3 Enhance and get a decent amount of profit out of that as well. Okay, so most of the actual profit came from things like that, which are pretty consistent crafts to find. And they don't really require that much in the way of hitting like some big RNG craft or anything like that. But that being said, uh, I will quickly go over what I was using the actual like reforge crafts on, which is mostly cluster jewels. I had some regular jewels here that I was throwing the crit reforges at. I don't think it was worth it. I wanted to see how uh, how that could do, and I didn't hit a single jewel to sell. The crit reforges would probably be better used on. Um, I don't know about a cluster jewel, maybe like an influenced item, maybe like a, trying to hit like a crit multi ring, but those can just be hit with essences. It would probably be something along those lines, but from right to left here, I had the eight passive fire damage, which I don't think I actually tried to craft at all because I ended up using all my fire crafts on the medium fire dot clusters. These are just easier to hit. But uh, I had spell damage large, which I was using my spell reforges, my caster reforges on. You can also use caster reforges on uh, influenced rings for curse on hits. But I was going for the big gamble of if you can hit conjured wall plus mage hunter plus a third notable. They sell for quite a lot. Uh, attack cluster, I was using the attack and speed reforges. If you can hit the... Uh, two leech notables plus a third notable they're worth quite a bit and then lightning i was using lightning reforges and i was occasionally trying to do cold reforges because there are a couple combos of cold notables that you can get on these but the main one is lightning for a scintillating idea and i believe storm drinker plus a third didn't hit that at any point but those ones are like massive value if you do hit it and then the mediums, which are the mediums, are the ones that are a lot easier to hit. The large are kind of hard because just getting three notables is tough. Fire dot multi use the fire reforges. These ones I actually carried with me while I was mapping in case I found any reforged normals and I had a stack of scours to just scour them because that's how worth it is on these in particular. And you're just going for like any of the ignite stuff like blowback plus burning bright was the the main combo. Blowback cooked alive is really good. And I think I hit like three of these. These aren't that hard to hit with the crafts, but the base is pretty expensive. Um, Fizz Dot, I was using the Fizz Reforges on. You want the uh, new notable for the blood skills. 
and then like any percent dot multi to go with it and you're pretty good to go there cold i was using some of my colds i was also using some of my life reforges on this which was the other reforge that i probably could have used better elsewhere but i was trying to hit brush with death and the uh 10 cold dot multi notable ended up not getting any of those either and then chaos reforges on chaos dot multi just for any kind of two good notables i think the main ones were you want to hit low tolerance which is the poison notable plus something else good and then my defense reforges i was just throwing on random fingerless gloves which i hit one okay pair never even bothered trying to sell it. i don't think it would actually sell for more than like 10 or 15 chaos didn't have much luck luck on those which was surprising because they're usually not that hard to hit like something that'll get to like 180 190 es okay, so i think that covers pretty much all of the the stuff i did with the harvests didn't get any t4 seeds didn't get any targeted augments but it still is i mean i enjoyed the mapping it's pretty chill as long as you have like a pre-stocked set of stuff to do the crafts on and then you just replace things as you use them it you get into a pretty smooth rhythm like i said this one in particular was like about 700 chaos an hour for me and i think i could if i did it again and really pushed it could get upwards of like a thousand chaos an hour and that's not counting like that's not counting the reforge keep suffixes that i found it's not counting any of these divines i ended up using some myself not counting this random augment i don't know what this is worth the reforged suffixes are about an exalt each i believe yeah harvest definitely still very profitable which uh i mean wasn't surprising to me because i knew that those utility type crafts where you can like convert breach stones and stuff were going to be the big money makers and they weren't really affected as much by the nerfs But I think that about covers the whole thing. Let me see. Yeah. So that's it for the video. Hopefully the uh, kind of recap there is helpful. If anyone was interested in trying out harvest farming, would recommend it. I don't think it's going to be particularly worth your while on a uh, Lex Proxima just because the only main thing that this one's giving is a uh, one extra harvest and then a, a better chance to get an Oshabi fight when you find a T4 but the T4s are so rare already uh, and this also gives you an increased chance to find them anyway the nature's favorite note on Hayward Hamlet's really what's gonna carry you for harvesting Thanks for watching. Hope the video was helpful. I will see you in the next one. Later.